software engineers and programmers in Reddit, what was your response to NVIDIA CEO saying programming is no longer needed and useless? I saw a comment about it last week that summed it up pretty well. X200B, anybody can do it CEO of company heavily invested in it. So is he firing all his programmers? Or at least downsizing by 90? I gotta pump my stock. Programmers tend to spend 95 of their time trying to figure out why things aren't working. That job is going to be more important than ever. Meanwhile, NVIDIA has programmer job openings. I'm sure the unpaid interns can figure out programming with ChatGPT, right? Silicon chip salesman saying his silicon chips will change the world, news at 11. Seriously though, that everyone has access to calculators don't mean we shouldn't teach people maths. Programming is easier now than ever before with all the tools at hand, but yet we still have more people in the industry than ever before. I do think it's possible that many of the recent layoffs in tech won't be coming back, or slow to return, but I'm not buying that programming is no longer a worthy skill to teach. Lalmi, 2024 Doesn't matter if he's right he's definitely not what matters is if management thinks he's right. And upper management are notoriously gullible. As a self-proclaimed checked for funsies programmer, that is bullshit. In all seriousness, as someone who has studied and worked engineering, PPL who can program, or IT PPL in general are incredibly important in today's day and age. It's one thing to just copy stuff from the internet, but in completely different animal to actually understand it improve it, or fix it. Just as you shouldn't send an email compiled by chat without proofreading it first what if for some mysterious reason chat insulted your addressee in the text or made some unwanted offers you shouldn't put into the production a code written by AI without checking it first. Whatever he's smoking, ID like some sent to me as an email attachment. It's a marketing stunt to get people talking about NVIDIA and their AI tools. Seems to be working pretty well. That was not his point at all. He was commenting on the idea that in the future everyone will have to know how to code, since technology is becoming ever increasingly prevalent. His take is, that will not be necessary, because as technology improves, so do the abstractions, making it easier to interact with the technology without a programming background. TL Doctor, you should not learn to code unless you actively want to become an engineer. That AI is far more likely to take over the C-suite before it takes over programming. After all, which is better suited to ensuring maximum shareholder value a human with invested self-interest that may not align with the shareholder's best interests or an AI with no self-interest? Besides which, someone has to build and train the AI there's not a C-suite member out there that would dirty themselves with such menial labor that's what they have slaver employees for. To be honest, at this point I'm getting fed up with comments like this that implicitly depict software engineering as a trivial task that Al is ready to take over, just because it can write little pieces of code even that with glaring issues, while in reality proper quality software engineering and architectural design takes as much as a complete human intellect as any other serious profession, if not more. If Jensen doesn't suggest people learn software engineering, then he should do the same with learning to be a lawyer, to be a teacher, to be a civil engineer, etc. And honestly I'm not sure what professions would remain viable under that worldview. Maybe vocational professions that require physical work. But meanwhile they're already building humanoid robots too with the aim to replace the need for human dexterity there was a time when people were told to not become accountants because Excel computers were going to do all of the work. Well, what happened was that it allowed for accountants to spend more time on complex work. As an engineer working closely to some of these developments, but not directly on them, I agree somewhat. I don't think it's worth discouraging current graduates, but perhaps children in elementary or primary school shouldn't look for sustainability in software engineering careers, maybe except for holdouts similar to how banks largely haven't updated their infrastructure since the 1950s due to cost. That's not at all what he said. Here's the quote. Over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you that it is vital that your children learn computer science that everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program, and that the programming language is human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. He's talking about who should learn to quote, presumably to work in coding in the future. The fact is that while AI can't write perfect code now, and only works well as a copilot, it is the truth that AI will be able to code fully, and effectively in the future, likely very soon. That means the human monopoly on coding is up. There will likely not be as much opportunity in coding. 
but there will be tons of opportunity in product development for more humans to use the lowered barrier to entry on app building and make even more apps that are useful to others. That's not what he said.